Hello, it's me again. I got two things in the mail today. I'm tickled pink, and uh, one of them, which I know is going to be hard to see, is a 10 troy ounce bar of fine silver. Nice and chunky and thick. Uh, I wish I, I could have bought more of these, uh, but at the time, I mean, this one here is good. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, this will do me fine. Uh, but, um, yeah, I just wish I could have bought you at least two or three of these, but I know if I did, the wife would kill me, so I snuck one in, she won't know, but at least for a while anyway, so, but yeah, this right here, uh, I got it off a, a, a group on Facebook, uh, I will give you the, uh, name of the group and the linkage, uh, but it came from Infinity Coins in Idaho, and um, I'll give you their web a link. They have a phone number as well. I'll put their phone number in the uh, caption below uh, with all the information you need to contact them. Um, you know, I, you know, my local coin guy is shut down because our governor says, you know, no non-essential businesses, you know, can be open. So, but. The great thing about this is, is even though it's not essential, they have online and, um, you know, plus they have a Facebook group. So therefore, you know, you can buy anything you want on Facebook, you know, in this group wise, you know, because there's postings and people and of course there's, there's guidelines you have to go through to, in order to be able to sell on there. Um, but you know, I'm not going to sell anything. I just buy stuff. And then when I do buy stuff, like, you know, in lots, there's a person on there a while back, like last year, where I bought all that scrap silver from, and I made the video of me smelting it down and everything else, and, uh, you know, but yeah, this right here, um, this, to me, this, this is a investment bar. This isn't for me to keep, you know, for long term, uh, because once silver does spike up high to where, you know, I want to sell it, I'll sell it. Or, I'll barter with it, or I'll trade it, one of the three. But, like I said, I got this offline from Xfinity Coins in Idaho, and uh, I would say the person's name uh, who I bought it from, but, you know, I'm not going to do that because, you know, there's too many creepy Joes out here, like, who's running for president. So, I'll just leave the information, the links of the page, the links of the store, and the phone number. So if you want to contact the store, you can get you some silver. And they have all kinds of stuff. I mean, they got, you know, they got, I mean, if I was single, not married, and with no kids, and for the money I have right now, I would go broke because I, I would be buying a lot of the stuff they have on hand. Now, um, but yeah, this is, you know, it's genuine and so it's not one of these copper bars with plate all the top of it you know they 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 give you what you ask for and they they'll sell you what you want and as long as you got the money to pay them they'll ship it to you so that right there said and done um xfinity coins is who this came from you know it's it's legit uh, like i said you know I'll, I'll give all the information i need or actually all the information you need to contact them to get you silver or gold or you know whatever you need now second part is the piece I've been waiting for 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 a long time and I got my build complete the piece here that goes up here slide the slide and then it goes into your connector, your three-piece slide, your AR style grip, and as you can see the gappage through the piece right here. This is where it connects up to against. But yeah, this is this is my baby toy, and uh, um, yeah, it's a 37 millimeter flare launcher, or as I call it, a grenade launcher, because you shoot projectiles downrange. Um, yes, it's big and nasty and mean looking like your black AR which everybody gets scared about 
Now it does have a Memphis back sight for your like your rifling, but I have the flip up long range grenade sight. So that way whenever I decide to use it at my angle arch, I can do even longer range or I can do mid range. And yes, this thing is, you know, this Oh, it's, it's, it's heavy, don't get me wrong, but it's not like, you know, it's not like packing an M4 with this underneath your M4 where it feels like it's a four cinder block you're carrying around. Um, this is a play toy for me. It's it's a costly habit. It's a, This is a lot more expensive than this right here because if you compare the two together, what I paid for all of this, I could have bought probably four of these but the thing of it is I've I've had a couple of these items already and so you know it's no big deal now I got this recently which this this right here is a M203 uh, forward grip and uh, it's made for a 40 millimeter which is it's a long, this is made for a law enforcement military type launcher. This is a civilian launcher, which is three three thousandths of a difference between a 40 millimeter. So this is uh, not even considered a weapon by the ATF. It's a signal device. So therefore, since it's a signal device, you know, you can, you can do anything you want with these bad boys like this right here. And your, your compliance with the ATF and uh, yeah. You can have all the fun you want. Now, the difference between this and a 40 millimeter, this this is considered a signal device. A 40 millimeter is a destructive device. Now, you can register these as a destructive device, which means you can shoot uh, like fragmentation loads down range, like grenade type things, and you know that cause well, destructive device. Now, I do not want an ATF tax stamp. Uh, I follow the guidelines, I do what I got to do, um, so that way I'm in compliance with the law. So therefore, uh, if the gun grab shit ever does come about, um, nobody's going to come grab this because it's not considered a destructive device. It's a flare or signal launcher. So therefore, I can have all the fun shooting CES, uh, tear gas, smoke, flare, you know, you name it. I can do all the fun with this. And as I've said before, on the side, there's your information that what you what you can shoot out of these. So therefore, you know I'm in compliance with everything in the law. First thing that I shoot. Now, yeah, I mean you can't go wrong with this. I mean, pop this thing back like you would your AR. There it is, right there. Perfect. Pop it up. I can with with the rounds I make for this thing, I can shoot I can shoot rounds three hundred to four hundred meters down range and you know yeah it's nasty. So I can shoot all my CS I want down range and it won't affect me none unless the wind changes and blows back my direction really fast, then I'm screwed. But until then, I ain't gotta worry about that. But yeah, this is my fun toy. This is this can this is gonna be my fourth of July fun right here. Mark my words, because on the Fourth of July, of course, I'm, I'm, I'll make a, I'll make a few videos of me shooting stuff down range or shooting shit in the air and popping it, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be my fun toy for Fourth of July. And then on top of it, if, if shit does get crazy in October and everything goes pandemonial, chaotic, um, I'll have, I'll have enough uh, CS rounds built up to where I can. This, this will be my crowd, my crowd control device, and. Uh, Yep, we're gonna have some fun. Watching people sniff and snarl like they come out of the gas chambers in the military on during your tear gas thing when you had to go in with your gas mask and take off your mask and breathe for a few minutes and recite whatever you had to recite and come out with snot hanging out of your nose and coughing and gagging. This is what I'm looking for for this. Yeah! But, quick video, gonna be done short quick. But just remember, like I said, this right here will be uh, 
all the information you need to get all the silver, gold, platinum, palladium, rhodium, uh, you name it. If you need it, they have it. And if they don't have it, they can get it. And they have all kinds of other uh, gems and stones and rocks and everything else. If you're into that kind of stuff too, they have all kinds of goodies on their page and their site. So I'll give you all the information you need for Xfinity. And I will see you all again soon. And just remember, uh, keep it easy, keep it sleazy, keep your nose clean, your powder dry, and don't do anything I wouldn't do. And I'll catch you again later.